When people come out to visit the cemetery, they're usually pleased in three ways. First, they're surprised to find that this little gem of a place even exists. And then it's also so close and easy to find. And we're so pleased to say, the third thing many people find surprising is how beautifully designed and maintained, how dignified the grounds are. When Cedar Hills was established back in 1972, the idea was visionary. Mr. Bradley was a local businessman who for 12 years, wherever he went, his spunky little Chihuahua Pepper was right there with him. And as Pepper got older, Mr. Bradley asked his veterinarian the question that so many people ask even today, what will happen when Pepper dies? When a human dies, we know the answer. Mr. Bradley, he just thought so much of Pepper. He wanted something special for her, and he believed that surely he wasn't alone. So he set out to create Cedar Hills, a beautiful piece of land protected by a trust where pets' lives could be remembered in a place of dignity and beauty. If you'd like, I can show you. Pepper and Mr. Bradley are right under the statue of St. Francis. They're buried there side by side. You know, people's preferences, they vary. And for those today who prefer cremation instead of burial, we have two crematoriums and also a special area of the cemetery set aside for cremation burials. A number of urns from simple to handcrafted and plaques on the memory wall are all choices. But for those who ask our opinions on the services we offer, we always say there seems to be better closure with traditional burials. I've heard so many stories about interesting pets that are buried here. There are birds, snakes, a monkey, a goat, and even a domesticated wolf named Poopy. If you remember Felix the Talking Cat, well, he was pretty famous in his time. Even was featured on the Johnny Carson Show. And yes, he really could talk. In the special area that's reserved for police canines, you can find Con, who was famous for capturing the Alabama Six, a group of murderers and robbers who had escaped from prison. Devil is also there. When he was killed in the line of duty, every police officer in the force came to pay tribute. When you decide to bury your pet, just how much you want to invest, it's up to you. If you come out to the cemetery, you'll find upright headstones with entire poems inscribed, as well as the names of every family member that loved them, with beautiful pictures and engravings of the pets. And then you'll find simple markers with just enough space for a name. And most often, you'll find ones that are somewhere in between. But you know, it's surprising how affordable traditional burial can be. People name their pets all kinds of things, and you know it's fun just to walk around and read the names. We have a Ringo, a Carlos, more than a few devils, Aristotle, a Plato. Over 3,000 pets have been buried at Cedar Hills over the last 30 years, and many people have whole families of pets that are buried here. In fact, about half of our burials are second and third pets. There's this one spot in the cemetery that's probably my favorite. You come up on a little rise in the land about midway through the grounds, and if you turn around on the back of a memorial, you see the words, gone, but not forgotten. And that just says it all. It's really Cedar Hill's whole reason for being here.